Each coach will tell you a different set of skills you must know to excel on the basketball court. If you feel confused and in need of someone to simplify all of the info out there, you are not alone. Today, let's break it down and talk about what the most important skills in basketball really are. I'm Coach Charlie with Attack Basketball Academy. As a premier basketball player development coach, I've trained thousands of players around the world on the specific skills, techniques, and tactics needed to become elite players. So on this video today, I'm going to reveal the number one basketball skill to master that unlocks every other basketball skill. Next, I'm going to show you the most important skill in basketball that most coaches won't teach you. Last, I'm going to show you the number one mistake you don't know you are making in skill development and how to avoid it. And on top of that, I have a bonus that I'll give to you, but only if you stick around to the very end. Let's get right into the number one basketball skill to master that unlocks every other basketball skill. Footwork. See, basketball is a game where your feet will help you put your hands in the best possible position to make the right plays at the right time. Because when you have the basketball, we talk about ball handling. That handling is not only just with dribbling. It's also the ways you distribute the basketball to a teammate, which is a pass, and to the basket for a score, right? So you must learn to find your feet because you're going to win with your feet, right? So the must learn how to move your feet to blow by defenders is crucial and key whether you have the ball in your hand or not on offense. And also on defense is how to keep the person that you're guarding in front of you whether they have the ball or not. See, that's the must know for me when it comes to basketball. See, you must know your footwork patterns, right? The way you actually move, right? To give you a couple of names to throw out there, attack steps, closeouts defensively, attack steps to the basket offensively when you're getting downhill to the basket, right? Um, lateral movement like push steps when you're playing defense, when you're looking to get open, create extra space, kind of throwing some things out there. You want to understand how to get into those patterns without thinking twice about them, right? Because once you understand that, then you'll see exactly how you're going to get by people on offense, keep people in front of you on defense so you can continue to repeat those patterns. Before I show you the most important skill in basketball, that most coaches won't teach you, I noticed that you're not a subscriber. I develop premium basketball players and we have a lot of information on this channel. I roll out 20 new high quality videos every month to help you. So you may want to be a subscriber. Click that subscribe button. Now let me show you the most important skill in basketball that most coaches won't teach you. That skill is called the universal stance and the universal release. Okay, the universal stance is what you may call the triple threat. The triple threat is a position where you put your body, offensively speaking, to where you can actually pass, dribble, and shoot from that same body stance position. I call it universal because I don't care what sport you play, it's going to come down to these components. First, the components for me, from the stance standpoint, starts from your feet. You want your feet shoulder width apart. Right. You want your legs bent. You want your butt back. When I say butt backside, I want it back. Not down. I want my hips dropped. That's the universal release. This is a player ready stance that will get me ready to play. All right. Universal, because, again, I can be in office doing the same thing as well as defense. I don't have an offensive stance and a defense stance. It's all universal. Upper body, offensively speaking, specifically, the universal release. Three key components. Extend your arm, snap your wrist, lock your elbow. So the universal release, okay? Extend your arm, snap your wrist, lock your elbow. That's the universal release, right? And all we're simply talking about is you want the way you release the basketball from a dribble standpoint from a pass standpoint 
and a shot standpoint, you might see the ball go through the hoop. What all three had in common is that the ball traveled in a straight line, right? When you combine your universal stance with the universal release on a dribble, that's how you're able to dribble a basketball quickly and timely because you know the ball is going to come back to your hands. And all I'm doing is driving a basketball in a straight line. So no matter what I'm doing, this ball is in a straight line. If I'm to pass the ball, again, the ball may go out of the camera, right? right? If I don't pass the ball, the ball comes back to me in a straight line because, again, I extended my arm, I snapped my wrist in the direction I want the ball to go, right? And I locked my elbow out. Right, and then ultimately speaking, you saw me make the shot, I take another one, bang, boom, put the ball up, bang. Again, all three of those things, the ball went straight, and that's the key. When you combine your universal stance with your universal release, you are player ready. You want your dominant hand to me behind the ball, not necessarily always, but if you are in shooting range, you want it behind, so you can simply just drive the ball through your elbow, because again, when you snap, your arm, when you snap your wrist, I should say, your elbow will automatically lock, and that's what you're mimicking, that straight line right there. So when I dribble, you see that arm extension? That's what I'm mimicking right there. When I pass it, that's what I'm mimicking right there. And when I shoot it, two for two, you saw that, I'm mimicking right there. Most coaches won't teach you that, not saying it's wrong, they just don't realize how to keep it that simple. Now that you know the simple secret behind being an elite dribbler, passer and shooter, I want you to comment below with you stance or you release to let us know you are ready to use your new knowledge to blow your coaches away with your new skills. Go ahead and drop you stance or you release in the comments below. Now, now I'm going to show you the number one mistake you don't know you are making in skill development and how to avoid it. See, you got to stop playing this game from high to low, but I mean you're out of your universal stance. You have to have a mentality to be player ready. See, this is player ready. This is not. I come close to you, my neck is cut off, I'm not ready to play. I drop, you see me ready to play. You need to be in a player ready stance. To me, it starts with your mentality. When you catch this ball, you got to think shot. You have to think shot. Does not mean you're going to shoot it, but you have shot in mind because you want to drop down to your universal release. If you're left-handed, you're here. You're right-handed, you're here. You don't want to be like this in a triple threat because, again, now you're swinging the ball and you've taken away one of the three threats, which is the most important threat, which is on the catch. You want to be able to shoot it. If you are working like this, an elite defender knows you have taken away one of your three threats you now only have two threats, and if your dribble is not a threat and your pass is not a threat, you have no threat and you're going to regret your game. I see it all the time. Players get the ball, the first thing they start doing is this. No, the first thing you do is put your dominant hand behind the ball in your universal stance, being ready for a universal release. You're in range, you want to shoot. That simple. I can pass from here, I can make dribble moves from here, how about I keep shot on my mind? That does not mean I'm going to shoot it. That means it's going to put me in position to make a play. Okay? you got to start playing this game from low to high. We call it shoulders game. I want my shoulders at my defender's waist midsection area. So no matter what I do, my first step will get me close to them. I will get shoulder to shoulder. They're not playing low with me. I'm going to blow them up. Right? I step, dribble, I take that second step, I'm going to create my extra separation. Then I also keep my offhand engaged because it helps me kept, keep extra spacing. Anytime I change positions, always keep your offhand engaged. Okay, but you got to start playing this game from low to high. Show this game. Defensively, same concept, right? I get a player that plays upright. They get the basketball. They take away their shot out of their mind because their coach wants them to pivot when they catch it. They're here. I know they're not trying to shoot the ball. I'm good. I'm not trying to guard this, the shot. I'm here. My hands are above the ball. They're trying to be dribblers. 
I mean, on a universal stance defensively. Footwork, right, feet shoulder width apart, legs are bent at the knees, butt is back, back is flat, left my hips out, my hips are dropped, my back is flat. Chest in the middle, head on a swivel, ready to play defense. I can move here, 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 universally. I can keep my piece of person in front of me. That simple. Okay, let's get it. Let's keep the momentum going with that bonus I mentioned earlier. We covered a lot in this video, and I want to make sure I'm really helping you out. So I would like to offer you a free guide that covers all the muscle and basketball principles and in what situation to apply them. This is a powerful guide of best practice tips, skills, empowering you to take charge of your game. Just click the link in the description below, and you can download the guide I put together as my gift to you. Enjoy it and keep attacking.